Happy Tuesday everybody. Cliff here with another uh, garden update. So I'm a little bit late on this one, so a day late and a dollar short, but uh, I'm going to show you guys hopefully in a rather short little video on what's been going on over the last two weeks since I did my last filming. Uh, we'll get you started here on this side. I've got just about all of my strawberries out of the greenhouse at the moment. I have everything chilling up here in the planters. I gotta plant these actually in the planters, but for now they're doing pretty well in their little pots. I've got my guys up here. I got bored with these ones, so I uh, braided my really big strawberry plant and decided to turn it into a strawberry tree because it looks cool that way. Uh, unfortunately, I had some uh, mishaps with some berries on here. I had a couple of good ones on these ones here and this one here, but uh, the little birds decided to eat them. So I have to get some bird netting, which I already have purchased. I just have to find a way to get it all set up on here. But I got all my strawberries down there. More strawberries, more strawberries. I have my parsley over here, which I trimmed. It looks absolutely decrepit right now. I've got this big guy here, which some of you will actually know. It's actually bolted and will be going to seed soon, which is good for me because that'll give me more seeds for this since I believe I ran out the first time. Uh, down here I've got some uh, recovering strawberries. I think these guys are going to die. I'm not 100% on this. They were uh, struggling the first time from the from the retransplant that I had them in. So we've got some peppers down here. I got to move these guys out into the sun. I got bugs on them. So these are going to have to go. These ones were the pucker butts. I had two of them. I got these ones from Cindy, aka the Hunt for Heat. I had a flower in there, a plant in there, but it looks like a bug ate the leaf off completely and it died. My bell pepper, my speaker so I can listen to music out here. Daisy plant that has not come back up. I decided to replant my patio peas. I planted them a couple of days ago, actually about a week ago, and they're already coming up. I had these spaced one in between each section so they would grow out and then spread out and be able to grab onto each of these posts. Uh, looks like, and then I had some in, around the outside of the center ring here. I had uh, about four, four or five on the inside, and then one in, in between each. But it looks like I got one got moved, so they got next to each other. But here's what I did. I basically took a tomato trellis. This is the same one that I still had from the greenhouse that originally had these plants on. I just did a little bit of modifications to it. Um, I got some uh, bamboo posts, put them in here, just tied them on here, every other one. So inside or sorry outside ish inside ish and then outside ish i made them all pretty much about the same length so if my bushes get really big that'll give them something to grow on i've got my yucca plant here which i took out of the greenhouse has been enjoying the uh, nice new mexico heat sorry about that the hiccups and all that i just got finished eating so my apologies my radishes are doing really really good on this I've got a really, really big, big one down here. So if you guys can see that, Let me zoom in on that. See, big old radish right down there. Doing real well. Ah, struggling with the zoom. Anyways, <clears throat> did uh, replanted some strawberries on here. These ones were struggling big time in the original planter that I pulled them from. They were pretty much looking like this when I dug them out, but you can already see here, this guy's got some uh, new growth on him. <clears throat> They're not 100% dead. Some of the leaves are dry and crispy, but others are still green and very pliable. So these guys will recover. It's just gonna take them another couple of weeks to uh, re-root. Because when I did transplant these, I cut off about four or five inches of root. I left about an inch and a half, two inches, just to get them restarted in this. Because it's pretty much how you transplant strawberries. You cut them from the root, you give them a little bit of a root base, and then you replant them, and they'll spread, uh, take off from there. But, for now, I just have all of that. <clears throat> and over here, we have a secondary pile of everything that I had in the greenhouse as well. My dahlias, still haven't done anything in these ones. <clears throat> I did have one out of the like seven that I popped in here, popped out finally. I'm just going to leave these out in the sun for a few days and then water them every couple of days. 
they seem to be doing, uh, I don't know, I, I keep, I'm thinking I'm giving them too much water. Uh, I've got my uh, eggplants doing really well over here. I got them out in the sun. I put them out, I put all of this stuff out yesterday, on Tuesday. I have another one here, another dahlia. I had one here, but when I was moving the dirt, I accidentally broke off the leaf. So, yeah, that one kind of sort of bit the dust. And then the biggest thing here is my two blueberry bushes, which in like a matter of like three, four days, all of a sudden just grew leaves and I've already got blueberries already going to start growing on here. Look at this. Watch, I'll show you guys. Look at this. All of this, those are going to be, that's all blueberry, are going to be blueberries. I got more over there. Ugh. I'm going to check this one out. I've got tons on this one. This guy's going to poop out blueberries everywhere. And I got a batch sitting back there already. whole bunch of flowers. My Turkish Speedwell, not doing well, but it hasn't died yet. I'll see what's, hopefully that'll make it this season got uh, my potatoes are doing well since I remulched them or actually since I put mulch on them I didn't originally have mulch on them I just had them in dirt and they were the first set of leaves fried off completely like it sun burnt them all to the ground and then I put a layer of mulch on there and I've been watering them every about four days or so giving them a nice soak my other one over here doing really good my ivy plant coming back to life a little green down there my dwarf apple tree doing fantastic better than i expected I've got nice little sets of leaves everywhere i'm waiting for it to uh, get bigger but it'll pay, take a year or two before it actually gets to a decent size then we got down here my uh cosmos i mean that, that's those are healthy plants right there like super healthy plants I just literally took them out of the entire container that I had them in filled this with actually this one already had dirt in it so what I did is I just cut a ring the same size as the whole the pot that this were in dug it down to about six inches and then I just took the whole planter and just stuck it right in the ground I shoved it in there and then I just put mulch on top of it Stupid bugs are attacking me. Had a cana in that one, not a cana. Um, I think I put a dolly in that one. It just pretty much died. My peppermint's coming out really strong. Look at this. Let me get the uh, wheelbarrow out of the way here. You guys get to watch me uh, move a wheelbarrow. Okay. So. <sighs> Just from when I was live on Colin's uh, channel, uh, Kincaid Outdoors, just the other day. Look at how much this bush has grown. When I was on it the last time, you could actually see like a good path of uh, brown through here. But this thing has just taken off. That one's struggling, and this one's struggling. But they were struggling last year as it is. So, here's the greenhouse... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, viewers and followers of all ages, this is what I have left in here. Three strawberry pots, my, pota my potatoes which I moved off to one side. I did have them outside for a day, but the winds were destroying my plants, so I had to put them back in here to keep them safe. I have my bell pepper plants are actually doing really well now. Um, don't know if you guys can see on this guy. I actually have right there of a little bell pepper flower. So hopefully that'll do something. There's about three of them on there, but it's hard to see. These were eggplant. Yeah, eggplants. They kind of got a little beat up by the wind and some excess water. So this was the this was the planter that I had the uh, cosmos in. I literally just took it out, the whole thing, and just dumped it right in that pot. And then I have my lettuces. These ones are going to flower soon. So if I can zoom, there we go. Finally got this thing to zoom out. Another one growing down there randomly. 
I should have some more of this stuff. I had sprinkled a whole bunch down in here. So hopefully we'll get more of that. If not, I might just use this planter for something else. But at the moment, I am trying to wait for this thing to dry out a bit so I can drag it out of here. So I can get my last shelf in here. But at the same time, I can't put anything in here. Because I am actually relocating this whole greenhouse. This whole thing is going over about a foot and a half. I have a mark down here on this wood. It's pretty much getting moved to the end of where this red planter egg crate's at. And then I'm turning it so the door is going to be on this side now. I realized my error when I put this in this summer throughout the uh, winter season. The reason why none of my plants were growing on the north side was because every plant that I had on the south side was blocking the sunlight when the sun was, you know, pretty much right over there, low on the horizon. So I'm going to swap this around so everything gets equal sun regardless. So when the sun starts off in the morning over here, it'll go, you know, you'll get the sun arc going through there. So the sun will basically just do this or well, the other way around. It'll pan left to right. And that'll get all of that nice and green. I've got my marigolds going absolutely strong out here. I did miss about three of them didn't germinate or two of them didn't germinate. I missed the one that was on this corner and on this corner oh, and then the one in the center. But other than that, lush marigolds. I think I'm just going to leave them in there the way they are. But actually growing those actually helped my uh, bug problem too. It'll be a lot better once they flower. I had mainly grown the marigolds for the bees because I had already seen bees like a couple, about a month ago. I already saw like three or four bees in my greenhouse because they know where the flowers were from last season. Then we have everything over here. My garden soil, I had to buy uh, an all natural garden blend because they were out of the Miracle Ghost Grow stuff that I normally use. So I'm, gonna try, I'm trying this stuff out. It's more mulchy and fibery than I want, but I can work with this because I still have a bag of fertilizer back here. I can just mix it in there with it. Going down to my sunlight garden over here. I've got my jump up johnnies are chilling in here. I've got only got four popped up. A little annoying, but it is what it is. I've never grown that plant before, so I don't know its growing conditions. I'm still learning on that one. Down here I planted some columbines. I have some lupi uh, lupines back there. It's going to be hard to see, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six of those popped up so far which i'm happy about i usually say to put one in a 12 inch pot but that's like a 24 inch pot right there so i can get that pretty well going like i said i planted my potatoes the excess ones that i had and i've already got look i've already got leaves popping up over here I'm trying to there we go so i can see i think i put three in here three or four yeah see so here's my other one i got some more leaves down here I think I put three or four in here. My cana going strong. Got this extra one. He's going to be popping up shortly. I was actually going to try to get this one separated and put it in a separate pot so we can get another batch of these grown. But I've had these things growing all winter long. Basically since I planted them last summer. They have not managed to die yet. Despite being completely frozen at one point and I had to cr drop, uh, clip them down to the ground. I got some beans in here. I think these were the pole beans. I'm missing two or three of them haven't popped up yet. But I do have one. It's going to be hard to see because he is just on the other side of this line. He's right there. And then I should have one right down here. But he hasn't popped up yet. All these other guys, they seem to have uh, snuck up really well. But this is my bean trellis system. It's just a tomato uh, trellis system with my modification. And then for Mallory and Johnny, this one's for you guys. Look at my garlic. These guys are going hog wild over here. Almost as tall as the one John, almost as tall as Johnny's over there, and he lives in Hawaii, and that's a tropical island. I live in the desert. I just got to give them water every three, four days, and these things are going hefty, hefty, hefty. But a quick turnaround over here. My carrot piles, 
I did these carrots. I planted these ones on the 3rd of last month. Finally got them to pop up. Gave them a little too much water. They're doing all right. These are my carrots from last season. I'm just letting them get bigger and bigger. But uh, you guys can see here, that dirt has dropped. Originally planted, this dirt was at the top of this level. It's dropped about two inches, easy. Loose, fine loose soil, but really good. And then my pumpkin plant, I lost the other two. They, they croaked. But I got, that guy managed to survive, thankfully. Because I planted six seeds in here to begin with, so one out of six managed to survive. Again, planted that on the third of last month. And then our garden rack from last season. Got my basil up here. Got more spinach, basil, my chives. I've got one flower head here, and you guys can see back there. I've got the second one. Haven't put anything in there, but that is going to be spinach. Again, this stuff grows pretty quick. My rosemary, doing really well. Nice and lush and green. My oregano, look at this thing. This, this thing took off. Like, we've got oregano everywhere. Oregano, oregano, oregano. Oop, I just ripped off an onion. Onion! I'll set that over there for later. My onion are doing really well. I mean, look at that. It's a carpet. And check this one out. These are my first two onion pots from season before last summer. Check this out. Got two onion flowers on there. Get those to go. My time struggling like you wouldn't believe. Those plants, look at how tiny those plants are. Compared to watch, I'll show you my other time plant and you'll see parsley going good. I've got a couple back here that are gonna go to seed of my lettuce, my spinach, which I'm letting go to seed on these ones because it's not going to give me much more on the uh, edibles. And then I have my onion chives over here, doing real well. My other thyme bush, which you guys can see is really, really big. I mean, it's doing real well. We even trimmed some off. And then this guy, this is my other oregano plant. Look at this, this big old bush. This thing took off. And then I'll be getting the rest of this all set up. I'll be getting this all set up. And that is pretty much going to be everything for the greenhouse. On that side. All my other plants are taken off. We're going to go do it. Just got attacked by a giant fly. We'll go down here real quick to the wood pile. And check it out. This is my beans and my beans and corn. I've got planted all through here. Corn and beans are popping up like left and right. Almost every one of my beans popped up that I planted in here. I think except for three. Corn, I'm missing about four, about four or five that didn't pop up. But that's all right because it'll give them more space to grow. They won't be overcrowded. My squash and my winter squash doing, my winter squash completely died. These things are shot. My other squash is still doing all right. He still has some uh, life left in him. I got a new flower there and a new flower here. He'll make it. He's surviving. Then I planted four potatoes here, which are already starting to breach the surface of the mulch that I stuck them under, which I'm happy about. I do got these things that will have a good amount of growth space. If I have to dig out almost, you know, 60% of this box for potatoes, that's fine. That'll give me more potatoes. My one bell pepper plant that I stuck in here a week and a half ago just to test to see if the wind would kill it, which it almost did. So I tied it to a little bamboo post just to keep it going. And then I've got these ones here. This is actually making me happy finally. I have all of this green everywhere in here it's green down there all up in here this is basil so those are all my basil plants going to be popping up soon and i had some squash up in here or cucumbers up in here the wind blew them over and killed them so they're pretty much toast now and we're going to have a quick little uh 
bit over here. My lettuces are getting bigger. I had, I, I just planted the seeds in here and just chucked the dirt on top of them. So they're going to be not even relatively spaced correctly. They're just in here growing. Nothing on this half as of yet. And then I've got radishes on this side. I swear I planted cor uh, carrots in here too, but none of those have popped up. It's all radishes. So I might just straight grow radishes in these barrels at this point. It seemed to work pretty well. But uh, that's it for that. My tree over there getting slightly bigger. I'll get you guys a little bit of a close-up on him. He's finally getting some leaves. So hopefully this year he'll grow another foot, maybe two if I'm lucky. I just got to keep it nice and moist. But again, this thing is about four and a half feet deep that he's in. So he'll get, uh, he'll stay wet for a good month or so, but I got to keep the surface wet so the bottom of the tree doesn't burn out. And other than that, that is it for the grand tour and update of the yard, garden, and everything that I've been doing. I do hope you guys enjoyed. For those of you who stuck around this long, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this out with your friends and family, subscribe, and, uh, let me know what you all think down in the comments. I'm trying to get out of the sun here. Uh, I will be going live later tonight, hopefully. I will be taking the place of Quebec Homestead on her time slot. Hopefully I can see you. I will see you guys then. Uh, other than that, this is going to be Fox It Outdoors signing off. You all have a wonderful day.